Hi everyone, welcome back to USS Salmon's weekly patrol log. This time we've just arrived back at home base in Fremantle, Australia. It's uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag. We got damaged on the last patrol by a destroyer, I thought by their guns, but looking back it may well have been a torpedo. We, <laughs> we were incredibly lucky, put it that way. Um, so anyway, our objectives were to proceed directly to the Formosa Strait and stand by for further orders, which we did. We were to engage and destroy any enemy shipping, which they marked as incomplete. However, you will see that we did indeed sink five merchant ships. Okay, they weren't technically in the Formation Strait. They were in the um, South China Sea, I think they were. Uh, but the warship was, so we sunk that one, but still didn't count. Uh, total tonnage sunk on this patrol was 46,494 tonnes. So we've returned to base to get some much needed repair, give the crew a rest and uh, reload and um, hopefully be in a fit state to fight going forward. So despite not completing all our goals, we have been awarded another medal. Uh, this is to certify the President of the United States has awarded the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal to Commander Buck O'Hare, United States Navy Commanding Officer USS Salmon, this December 28th, 1942. For extraordinary heroism, as commanding officer of the USS Salmon during the six war patrols of that vessel, the Navy Board of Decorations and Medals awards the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal to Commander Buck O'Hare. His outstanding display of leadership, devotion to duty and aggressiveness reflect great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. With Guadalcanal Island under our control, providing air cover from Henderson Field, we must keep pushing further to gain full control of the Solomons. The islands from New Georgia are our next objective, and then up north, Bougainville. As we speak, our amphibious force is heading towards Rendover Island, our first target. Our submarine force must support the naval forces, and must cover the up northern sectors, cutting the Japanese supply lines and reinforcement transports towards the Solomon Islands. Our main interests are the traffic lanes coming southeast of Palo, south from Truk, southwest from the Marshalls and Gilberts. This way, we'll cut off the Japanese supplies towards our area of interest. Okay, so our interests and priorities have shifted, as you can see. December 29th, 1942, so the crew get to spend some time here over New Year to rest and relax with the uh, Australians, which will be fantastic, I have a little doubt. Um, confirmation on that last patrol. Um, we got the destroyer, which we're having a bit of a duel with. We also sunk the the sampan on the last mission. Before that, we got a medium tanker, a whale factory ship, a medium fleet oiler, a whale factory ship. Um, so yeah, that 40, 46,000 tons was pretty good. To Commander Buck O'Hare, USS Salmon, depart on January 15th, 1943. Proceed to Area B6 and engage in anti-shipping operations off Indochina within the designated area in the South China Sea for five days. Okay, we're heading back to the South China, South China Sea, boys. Hi everyone, welcome back. We're well on our way now up to our patrol zone in the South China Sea. Uh, we're coming through the Sundra Strait. Now, up ahead, up ahead here, uh, um, either side, we'll go through a little bit of a narrow passage. No worries for the boat as such, but there are enemy coastal guns on either side of this passage so uh, although it's dark the uh, the light is um, just starting to increase with the sunrise so it's probably a good time at this point while things are calm the coast is clear to dive down to periscope depth so we can pass through this passage periscope depth Take it down. Oh, 
Okay. And um, we're coming through the uh, the narrow point now. You can see the land over there. Uh, and on the on the coastline somewhere there'll be numerous coastal guns. Uh, who would love to have a pop at us and as a slow move relatively slow moving target. Yes, they would probably do quite a bit of damage to us. So that's that one side. Uh, and over here you can't see because the wave just turned a bit choppy but you've got the other coast over there look oh there's a gun right there in fact that's uh, 96 degrees there there's a gun there so they haven't spotted us which is good unless you see a flash uh, then we could be in trouble they'll spot do the periscope but yeah um... so here is where we are let me zoom out the Sundra Strait uh, coming into the Java Sea We'll then sail up through here for, into the South China Sea and up to the point where we need to do some anti-shipping raids for five days. So we're not too far away, but yeah, as you can see, um, this area here, this little island, they've got coastal guns on and over or here or here, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, this is a little a little um, kill zone if they wish to for uh, allied shipping and submarines and all that kind of jazz so yeah we're just going to have to stay below the surface till we're out here somewhere then we'll surface and be on our merry way well only a matter of moments later we've got a sonar contact from 029 which is there there's a warship over there closing apparently uh so what i might do is hug this side a little bit more stay away because the problem with the narrow channel is if they come through this to pass it's obviously the deep part as well or the deeper parts um, we could be in a bit of bother if um, they go straight over us so this could be bad timing on our upper half here well see how it goes though he's a long way off at the moment Okay, um, we're in a position now where he is actually, he's obviously patrolling around this region because he's coming in behind us. He's right there, but the wave's not giving you a clear indication. There he is. I think he's a sub hunter. Let's go periscope down. He's not pinging, so he doesn't know we're here, so let's not give him a, a visual target to potentially identify. So yeah, um, let's slow down. Let's go a bit quieter and let's take us uh, down a little bit deeper as well. Okay, we're down here at uh, just shy of 90 feet and uh, it appears that that little sub hunter didn't spot us, doesn't know we're here, they're just following their patrol. So thankfully they've gone straight on back onto that direction. So we're going to stay down here a little bit longer. Um, don't do anything silly now and we should be away from them quite easily. So we'll continue on for a you know, another little while underwater before we surface and uh, and then hopefully we'll make some good running on the surface during the night. Hi everyone, welcome to a rather wet and miserable 28th of January 1943. Um, yeah, rain, fog, thunder, it's a delightful part. But this is our objective, we are here. Now, hopefully this will have updated, it hasn't yet. Oh, patrol within this sector for five days and it will complete, that's good news. Uh, a little bit of... Um, news in the uh, radio communications um, USS Whale has sunk a Shonmaru passenger cargo ship for 5,600 tons but the first all-american air raid hit mainland Germany today there we go January 28th 1943 mark it on your calendars oh hello to USS Salmon contact report enemy task group uh, 17 knots Let's have a look where that is. Right, so here we are near our designated mark. So, where was that reported? 105. 
105, so it'll be here. Oh, there it is there. That's a long way off. That's not... It's not going to be anywhere. Heading north, northeast. Okay, so it's coming this way. So this is very crude. But if it's going north, northeast, it could be coming. So that's east, north, northeast. North, northeast would be there, wouldn't it? I got it. I've got a compass here. Oh, water. So it's coming there. Okay, so if we start. Um, patrolling roughly around this sort of area. You never know, that task group may come up. Uh, it's doing 17 knots, so it's it's not hanging about. We'll stay in the deeper areas, though. Give us more chance if we do spot them. Okay, well, we've got a poten potential place to uh, to search on, so that's what we'll do. I'll set up a, a search pattern now, and we'll, we'll continue on that, and hopefully in the next five days, that at some point this task group will come roaring through here. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, fair few days have passed now. We've been hunting, patrolling up and down to see if that task group did come into our kill zone. Unfortunately, they must have changed course because nothing has happened. Um, it's now the 3rd of February 1943. Uh, the mission has been completed, or that patrol objective has been marked as complete, as we've completed five days waiting for that task group to come in here. Obviously, we've completed the time, maybe they know they've changed course, so not much else happening. Um, see, there's also other task groups being reported. Speed 7 knots, smaller group, speed 8 knots. Not in our zone, unfortunately. Going southwest, that's no good to us. So, uh, in interestingly though, the German 6th Army surrenders in Stalingrad. 200,000 German soldiers taken prisoner by the Red Army. Wow. So things are happening in the war, just not where we are, it would seem. But we'll continue to patrol around this area. Hopefully, um, find something when these reports coming in of smaller groups of ships, we'll um, try and home in on them. Unfortunately, none of them are near us at the moment, so... By the time we got anywhere near it, they'd be, you know, days gone. So there's no point hunting them down from these reports. But do not fear. We will stay and patrol and uh, we will find something. We will add to our tally. Hi, everyone. Right, we are surfacing the boat because we've spotted... Uh, sampan. <laughs> it's the only thing we've seen in days. Uh, it's that sub hunter. So yeah, we've uh, we needed to come up for some oxygen anyway. CO2 was starting to build up. So uh, under the cover of darkness, anyway, there's no reason unless we're under direct threat to be under the waves. Um, but yeah, so we're going to man the deck gun and uh, at least start the tally ticking. Yeah, so one of those things. It's like sports. You know, you just have to keep the scoreboard ticking along. And uh, before you know it, things are looking rosy again. So yeah, we're going to speed up. We'll close in and uh, sync this with the uh, the deck gun. Okay, swing in the deck gun out. There she is. Yes, sir. Slow down a bit. We don't need to be going quite so quick. Oh, smack on the money at about 1,200 yards. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, we're going to sink a lot of these. It's good for the practice, if nothing else. And obviously, as I said, tick along the... Um, tick along the... Logbook tonnage, just to make sure we're continuing to score hits. Uh, even if it is these minor sandpans, which, you know, 80, 80 tons, whatever it is. But they are... They are, they are servicing the um, Imperial Japanese war effort, so they are a legitimate target, even if they're not particularly exciting. And it does feel like a bit of a, a bit of a bullying situation, but, you know, that, that's sinking merchant tonnage full stop. There we go, is that them? There we go, it's a large sampan for 80 tons. Happy days. 
Right, the first kill of the patrol can be recorded. Stay the deck gun. And go and get yourself a nice cup of coffee, boys. Oh, it doesn't take long. Look, we've spotted a merchant ship not too far from the uh, stricken sampan. That's proper juicy. Okay. Um, oh, there's two. Right. Let us see if we can get in a position to uh, set up an ambush for these two merchant ships. Okay, we've made it into position. Let's have a look. There they are. Oh. A couple of juicy looking ships there. Let's get on and see what we think they are. Um, it's got one. Okay, I think that might be a fast merchant. Or there or thereabouts. So I'm going to kind of predict it might be that. Thank you, menu. Um, so, range, we can calculate now, is about there. Angle about about there and speed we know we had him measured about four knots right tubes I'm gonna fire two torpedoes at it so tubes one and two open doors all right as we get the middle of that boat into 340 that's where I've set it up to attack fire one fire two I'd say that was a pretty good attack. Two torpedoes, two hits, and there we go. A fast Hansa merchant for 7,590 tons sunk. Right, where's this other one? Quickly making um, changes in their direction. So they are probably turning away from us. Um, their range, we haven't got them selected, but it doesn't matter. Let's get three and four open for some snapshots. Right, so four. Uh, fire. And then I'm going to fire three when she gets to about here. Okay, as they uh, go past the survivors from the previous ship, uh, we actually managed to get two good score hits on there, which is really good. Um, tube one is now, sorry, tube one is now reloading. Uh, that's all four forward tubes fired. In fact, I don't see a deck gun on her. Maybe that's something on the back there. Maybe a deck gun on the back, but I can't quite make it out. Um, but yeah, two, two, two good torpedo hits. She hasn't sunk yet, but um, she's drastically slowed, so her engines might be temporarily out, and she's definitely getting a little bit lower at the stern. So we'll give her time, and hopefully, uh, with the water flooding into the damage, she may start to uh, sink soon.
Oh, and there she is. She's having a bit of a bob before she fully submerges. Down she goes. A lot more crew were able to get off that ship, which is very good. And to confirm, that was a medium composite freight of a 2,896 tons. So all of a sudden, boom, 10,000 tons in the bag. That's fantastic. You know, that is a great start to our patrol. And we're only just in this area. Four torpedoes fired, two ships sunk. I'm very happy with that. Right, all seems to be clear. So we'll stand down from battle stations and uh, start to surface the boat. See if we can offer the survivors some... Uh, blankets or something. Sorry. I thought somebody was firing at us for a moment. It's just a ship exploding underwater. Uh, offer some blankets, offer some food, just in case there's anything they need. And, uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Right, it's the following morning, and we've got contacts. Ah, oh, two more ships. Look at that. They're going pretty quick. But well, we've got uh, an oil tanker, and... A merchant ship. So, um, again, probably two torpedoes apiece. Let's lock on to this one if we can and see what they reckon we could potentially be. Right, it's got a long, thin, maybe a large sprit freighter. Oh, that's what we'll go. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll go with that for now. Right, let's get. that locked in. Angle about. Actually, you're coming quite close to us. Speed, I'm going to put up, oh, I don't know, I think she's probably doing about 12 knots, something like that. She's actually fairly motoring. We haven't had a chance to um, do a speed check. So let's get one and two open. Ready for a um, attack. Ah. Rather annoyingly, they have turned directly almost for me. Uh, that is going to pose a bit of a problem. Have they spotted me? They do have a deck gun. What does the one behind, the tanker behind, does she have a deck gun? Possibly anti-aircraft guns in the rear. Can't quite tell. Oh, you're being a right pain, aren't you? Have they spotted us, or are they just doing a natural course change? Um, I don't know what to do, just to... Do I just put one right down her... What's her depth, actually? Draft 29.9 feet. Tube 1, fire. Tube 2... Let's put you down as... Influence, that's right. Fire. Okay, that's rather giving the game away. Okay, let's go down. They've spotted us. She's coming directly for me, so that was the only chance I was going to get a chance to um, have a shot at it. Right, take us down a bit deeper. Otherwise, they may just steam straight into our conning tower. Right, there goes that merchant ship just over our tail. Right, but we are coming back up to periscope depth because if we can, open tubes three and four, we'll have a snapshot at that tanker. I don't think the damage we've done to that ship is going to be enough to slow her down. Um, she should be able to probably survive with that. But if we can get up here and um, have a couple of quick snapshots at the tanker, if she hasn't gone too far past, then... Um, Hopefully that ship doesn't have a rear deck gun, otherwise we, that could be a bit of an awkward situation as well. But um, Yeah, ready for this. It's going to be point-blank firing. Probably, we'll probably be looking at the rear of it now. 
Ah, oh, it's over there. It's well past. He could have a weird shot at this one, though. The cause of all our problems. Close tube, close tube, open tube. But that ship is looking a little bit lower at the stern. Oh! Oh! Lifeboat! A large split freighter sunk for 6,630 tons. Oh, we got it. Little bugger. Right, where's that tanker? Where is that tanker? Does she have a deck up? She's got something up front. Wow, but she's 90 degrees. We can probably surface in a little while and uh, get away. But the good news is, oh, she's going down quickly now. Red flare, brilliant. Okay, I I thought we'd blown that with all the uh, problems this ship is causing us, but we get the last laugh. Okay, we have surfaced the boat and we are racing forward. Um, I don't know if I can skip. Um, let's get past in there. Right, let's have a look. Uh, the boiler should be over there somewhere. There she is. Right, so what we've, we've done, we've come away, and she's sailing away as well, to open up the space, we've surfaced the boast, and now we are moving quickly to try and um, get ahead of this ship. Uh, obviously she seems to be going slightly further away as well, but we're going to head south and then turn west and hopefully set an inset point for this ship. That's the plan anyway. Okay, I think that's actually a large European oiler. So we'll get that logged in. Some it's grand. Um, right, tubes one, two, open. Right, let's get her um, set up. Angle about is coming about yay. Speed, I've got about. 13, 14, I think. Okay, we were, well, we, we chanced 12 knots, or 12, 13 knots, and we almost overran it, but, oh. Yeah, she definitely, oh god, she got deck gun as well, okay. We could maybe put one more ch torpedo into her. Uh, she's probably slowed down a bit. Let's open up the tube and we maybe have a, another snapshot. Good hit to the rear. Right, that is three torpedo hits. What? Two good ones. One, again, just caught the bow. Um, probably won't be too, too much burn. She's definitely lower there, though, isn't she? The engines are still blatting. She's still trying to save herself. Fire's brewing, which is going to be a concern on an oil tanker. There's a, quite a hefty deck gun on the rear. And a, Another one on the front, and obviously they got the anti-aircraft guns, which they were firing at us earlier. Um, the guns aren't swinging towards us, which makes me think that those gun crews have been uh, tasked to do some ship-saving activities. Okay, I think that should be enough. Oh, flames now coming out of the funnel. Oh, and things exploding. I think the boilers are about to go bang. Oh yeah, fire's brewing everywhere. If this goes bang, it should be quite spectacular. I'm 
And there she goes. European oiler, a large European oiler, 10,000 tons. Well worth the three torpedoes sent to finish her off. Okay. Uh, there is a life raft over there. So some of the boys did get off it, which is good. So there we have it. Started off slow, hitting an 80 ton sam large sampan. But it certainly picked up. Uh, fast hands of merchant for seven and a half thousand. A medium composite for almost three thousand tons. A large split freighter for six and a half thousand, and just now a large European oiler for ten thousand tons. What a great start to our patrol! Um, so we'll service the boat, make sure the coast is clear first. Service the boat and uh, offer some assistance. Uh, if not, we'll continue on our patrol. Right, so we can. Um, Stand down from battle stations. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Let's get moving. Keep an eye out for any enemy aircraft. There's going to be a lot of air patrols now with all these probably radio transmissions and SOSs being sent out. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're continuing to enjoy the weekly patrol logs of USS Salmon as we uh, do our part in the Pacific Theater of War. Uh, we should be back next week for the further adventures the further trials of USS Salmon and her crew. I hope to see you then. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.